Hi there. I remember being intrigued at school when a teacher told me, pff, how many years, 50 years ago now, that um, statistically and in terms of distribution and redistribution of, uh, uh, of air in the world, that we are all breathing an infinitesimally small portion of Caesar's last breath. I remember being stunned by that. So this is a little like that, thinking about what we have maybe come into contact with, what we have perhaps touched, uh, things that we've been so close to and we've never known. So this is called unknowing. Unknowing, I've shaken Agamemnon's dust from my Mycenae shoes, breathed of Napoleon's last breath, seen the light from stars long dead, drunk water that once fell as a snowflake upon the summit of Everest before it knew its name. All the footsteps of Hilary and Tensing, or possibly even of George Mallory, but that's another story, unknowing. I drew on the blackboard this morning with the chalk remains of the largest ichthyosaur that ever lived. Wrote on paper, produced from the very tree your great granddad climbed and fell out of when he was a lad. Paddled, aged three and three quarters, bucket and spade in hand in precisely the same place where King Canute set up his throne to rebuke the waters. Killed a spider in the shower whose direct line progenitor inspired Robert Bruce with his resilience. Unknowing, I met an angel disguised as a tramp, begging the rain for the price of coffee. Walked past you in the street last Wednesday week, dug a hole to plant a shrub and stopped a single solitary spadeful short of a treasure trove to rival the crown jewels. Switched off the light, and gave up the midnight search for melody and harmony just before yesterday, gave up on me and gifted itself to McCartney. Unknowing, my favourite shirt was made by a nine-year-old Indian girl, sold into slave labour and chained to a machine 17 hours a day. I've eaten faux filet from a cow named Clementine by a farmer's daughter, who as chance may have it, may meet and marry your son in three years' time. Unknowing, I taught a girl to teach, who in her turn will teach someone else's son something that alters the course of his existence and of mine and yours and history. I said something unintentionally which someone took the wrong way and ate him up and into an early grave. Built sandcastles with my daughters on the beach from the grain remains of the very rock of ages past upon which life first hauled itself out of the sea. Unknowing, I'm the 593rd person in all time to claim this plot of land mine. I once thought of life, God, the garden, Darwin and Dawkins, and I actually got the answer right. But of course, I don't know which thought that was. Unknowing, I needed someone once not knowing it was you.